Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on compass surveying. Let us read the question. The following bearings were observed in traversing with a compass an area where local attraction was suspected. Find the amounts of local attraction at different stations, the correct bearing of lines and included angles. Lines are given. For the lines, the four bearings and back bearings are given. Using the four bearings, we can draw the traverse. Let us draw the direction symbol. Let us keep this station as A. The four bearing of AB is 68 degree 15 minutes. We know that 68 comes between 0 and 90. In between, we have to draw a line and the direction symbol. The four bearing of BC is 148 degree 45 minutes. We know that 148 comes between 90 and 190. In between, we have to make a line and we have to draw the direction symbol. The four bearing of CD is given as 224 degree 30 minutes. 224 degree comes between 190 and 270. So in between, we have to draw a line and then the direction symbol. The four bearing of DE is given as 217 degree 15 minutes. We know that 217 comes in between 190 and 270. So in between, we have to make a line and then the direction symbol. The four bearing of EA is given as 327 degree 45 minutes. We know that 327 comes between 270 and 360. So in between, we have to make a line and connect with the station A. In the traverse, now let us indicate the four bearings. Now let us indicate the back bearings. Now we are going to find the stations which are affected by local attraction. We know that in a line the difference between fore bearing and back bearing should be 180 degree. In AB the difference between these two is 180 degree. In BC the difference is not 180 degree. In CD also it is not 180 degree. In DE also, the difference is not 180 degree. In EA, the difference between these two bearings is 180 degree. So, only in the lines AB and EA, the difference of fore bearing and back bearing is 180 degree. In this case, we can assume that the stations A, B and E are free from local attraction and the rest of the stations C and D are affected by local attraction. Now let us make a table. In the table, let us enter the bearings separately. It is the bearing of AB. It is the bearing of BA. It is the bearing of BC. It is the bearing of CB. It is the bearing of CD. It is the bearing of DC. It is the bearing of DE and it is the bearing of ED. It is the bearing of EA and it is the bearing of AE. Now in the table, let us add two more columns, correction and corrected bearings. We know that the stations B, A and E are free from local attraction. So, the bearings taken from these stations will be correct. From the station A, the bearings AB and AE are taken. Both of them are correct. From the station B, the bearings BA and BC are taken. So, both of these two readings are correct. From the station E, the bearings ED and EA are taken. Both of these readings are correct. So only for these four readings, we have to find the corrected bearings. Let us enter these six readings in the traverse. 
we know that for these six readings no correction is required so we can directly enter them in the corrected bearings now for these four readings we are going to find the corrections we can use this angle and move this way and find the corrected bearings or we can use this angle and move this way and find the corrected bearings i am going to use this angle and move this way we know that it is the four bearing bc using that we can find the back bearing cb the formula to find the back bearing is four bearing plus or minus 180 degree we have to use the positive sign when four bearing is less than 180 and we have to use the negative sign when four bearing is more than 180 this bearing is less than 180 so we have to use the positive sign when we add these two we will get 328 degree 45 minutes let us enter that now let us find how much correction is required in cb 328 degree 45 minutes minus 326 degree 15 minutes we will get 2 degree 30 minutes we will get a positive value so the correction is positive 2 degree 30 minutes we know that from the station c the bearings cb and cd are taken since both of these readings are taken from the same station c the same correction should be applied to cd also when we add these two we will get the corrected bearing for cd which is 227 degree now using this four bearing we can find the back bearing dc since it is more than 180 we have to use the negative sign 227 degree minus 180 degree we will get 47 degree let us enter that now let us find the correction 47 degree minus 46 degree we will get positive 1 degree let us enter that we know that from the station d the bearings dc and de are taken since both of these two readings are taken from the same station d the same correction should be applied to de also when we add these two we will get 218 degree 15 minutes let us enter that now using this four bearing we can find this back bearing since it is more than 180 we have to use the negative sign when we add these two we will get 38 degree 15 minutes the bearing of ed we already know 38 degree 15 minutes since we have got the same value our corrections are correct so this calculation can be taken as a check the station c is affected by local attraction by negative 2 degree 30 minutes and the station d is affected by local attraction by negative 1 degree in the station c the correction is positive so the error will be negative in the station d also the correction is positive so the error will be negative these are the correct four bearings and back bearings now we are going to find the included angles the traverse is running in the clockwise direction so the included angles will be the exterior angles we know that these are the exterior angles let us find the exterior angle in the station a we need to find this angle we can split this angle into two parts right side and left side the right side angle we know 68 degree 15 minutes we need to find the left side angle one circle is 360 360 degree minus 147 degree 45 minutes we will get this angle this angle plus this angle we will get the exterior angle now let us find the exterior angle in the station b on the right side we know 
we do not know in the left side we know that one circle is 360 degree 360 degree minus 248 degree 15 minutes we will get this angle this angle plus this angle we will get the exterior angle in the station b now let us find the exterior angle in the station c we know this angle only we have to find this angle one circle is 360 degree 360 degree minus 328 degree 45 minutes we will get this angle this angle plus this angle we will get the exterior angle now let us find the exterior angle in the station d here we can easily find the exterior angle for that we have to subtract this angle by this angle when we do that we will get the exterior angle now let us find the exterior angle in the station e we can easily find this angle to find this angle we have to subtract this angle by this angle when we do that we are getting the exterior angle now let us find the sum of the observed angles for that we have to add these five angles when we do that we will get 1260 degree the formula to find the theoretical sum of the angles is 2n plus 4 into 90 here we have positive sign because what we calculated are the exterior angles the number of stations is 5 so n is 5 2 into 5 plus 4 we will get 14 14 into 90 we will get 1260 degree both of them are same so hence okay now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video